Hello and welcome to this Power Designer demonstration. Today's topic is on importing Excel spreadsheets into Power Designer. As you probably know, much of an enterprise's metadata is contained within spreadsheets. And the challenge is, of course, how to leverage those spreadsheets so that we can actually build models based on those spreadsheets. So today we're going to look at how to structure an Excel spreadsheet, how to import that spreadsheet, and then how to round trip the changes from an Excel spreadsheet back into the model. So let's get started by examining this Excel spreadsheet that we have here. This spreadsheet contains table and column information that we want to use to build a model. And there are two tabs in the lower left hand corner. One describes what the table information is and the other tab describes the column information. So let's look at the header row of the table information. You'll notice here at the top that the, we have some information about the name of the table. We've got some information about uh, what's the technical name of a table and there's some information about the definitions of the table here. When we click the column information tab, the first thing that we notice is that there's a particular naming standard that this tab has that the other tab doesn't have. And we name it that way for a particular reason. It's a parent-child relationship. So since a column belongs to a table, the table is effectively the parent of all of the children, which are the columns. So we start with the parent name, followed by a dot, and then the child name. The first column on the spreadsheet should always contain the parent information. You can see here at the top we have a column called table, followed by the business name of a column, its technical name, and then finally the definition of the column. Now that we understand the structure of the Excel spreadsheet, let's see how we can import that metadata into Power Designer. This is a wizard-driven process, so basically the wizard's going to ask us for three different things. First, it's going to ask us what model type do you want to use. Then it's going to ask us where is the Excel file located. And then last, it's going to ask us how we want to map the metadata on the import. The example we're using today is tables and columns. And since those are physical artifacts, the physical data model is the most appropriate choice here. You can choose the model that best represents the metadata you're trying to import. Before we go ahead and begin the next step, I just want to point out some options that might be useful to you. Not all model artifacts have a graphical symbol associated with them. If you want to see the model graphics when the wizard finishes, just click the checkbox to create the symbols. Otherwise, you'll get the metadata, but you'll have to go to the Symbols menu and choose Show Symbols to show the, the symbols in the diagram. This will just save you an extra step. Now we just have to tell Power Designer where the Excel file is located. Now that we're pointing to the right Excel file, let's start mapping the metadata. Now, Power Designer is looking at our Excel spreadsheet that we saw earlier. It's going to examine it, and it's looking for those tabs. And the first tab that it finds is the tab called Table. And so Power Designer is making an assumption here that you would like to map it to a table object. The metadata import in Power Designer is very flexible. Just because it assumes that we want table, we don't have to accept that. We could choose another physical artifact if we wanted. Now the wizard's beginning to examine the header row. And the first column it sees in the header row is the table name. Now it's not exactly sure what a table name is. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell Power Designer how we want to map the column called table name to the artifacts that we're importing. As a matter of fact, we'll do it for all of the information about tables. Now Power Designer is done evaluating the first tab, the information about the tables, and we're on to the second tab, which is the information about the columns that belong to each table. Now here Power Designer is asking what column contains the parent information. 
Now, if you make the first column the parent column, then Power Designer will pick it up for you automatically. As a matter of fact, I've made all of my uh, header row names match the available metadata that Power Designer knows about. This way, I don't have to manually map each Excel name to a Power Designer name. It'll just do it for me automatically. And this is a big time saver. When the wizard is complete and Power Designer has successfully imported the metadata from the Excel spreadsheet into Power Designer, you'll be presented with a dialog box which will let you know what the status of the import was. Once a spreadsheet's been imported, it can be re-imported. Let's say, for instance, somebody went to the Excel spreadsheet and made a modification to it. You want to make sure that you reconcile those changes back into the model. Well, next we're going to take a look at how you can actually do that. Now we're back in Excel and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new row that defines a new column for an existing table. Now we're back in Power Designer and what we're going to do is we're going to bring that change we just made in the Excel spreadsheet into this existing model. In the workspace in the upper left hand corner you'll notice a new folder called Excel Imports. This folder contains all the information Power Designer needs to locate the Excel file that we originally used and reevaluate it to see if anything has been changed since the last import. Just expand the node and then right click the Excel Import object and choose Import to reevaluate the Excel file. If we look at the resulting dialog box, we can see that one object has been imported into the model. Let's take a look at the columns property sheet and see what the results are. Here we can see the newly imported test column with its name, its code, and its comment all mapped just like the other ones. So we've seen how we can take an Excel spreadsheet, import that into Power Designer, map the metadata on the fly to model artifacts, and then round trip any changes made in the Excel spreadsheet back into the original model. So that concludes today's Power Designer demonstration on importing Excel spreadsheets with Power Designer. Thanks for watching.